watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to Joe Roman Plays Nuclear Throne. So, today we are gonna be playing with... I don't yet know. We are probably gonna be playing a normal game with horror, I think. Why not? Yeah, let's play some horror. Horror has an extra mutation choice, which you will remember are the talents that you can get when you level up. And his right-click ability, his active ability, is the radiation beam. The radiation beam actually um, damages enemies, expanding some of your some of your experience in the process. So, we're actually gonna go with horror, and uh, we start out with a shotgun. I'm sorry, it took me a little while to get situated there because my mouse was not in the correct position. That bandit almost got to me. Almost. Almost, buddy, almost. So, we could go ahead and check that weapons case. But one thing that I did not mention on the previous episode, because I thought it was way out of the scope of the first episode, is that if you actually uh, skip on a weapons chest, if you skip a weapons chest for a level, it adds 25 um, extra percentage, like extra chance, 25% more chance that you will get a super weapons chest or a large weapons chest, it's, it's what that means. On the next level so we actually just gave ourselves a boost of 25% just for there to be a chance that there is a super or large weapons chest on this level but it didn't appear to be the case gladly it didn't open that one either so it stacks so right now we are actually gonna be giving the game a 50% extra chance of spawning us a large weapons chest which we might want to open on 1-3 on zone 1-3 or or basically on 2-1 these are the two times that we are actually gonna be wanting to open them so right there I made the choice for strong spirit over boiling veins boiling veins actually grants you immunity to fire or explosions damage uh, when below 4 HP so even if you are above 4 HP you will only take damage up to or down to really down to 4 HP so it's pretty good it's pretty good boiling veins is one of those good those good mutations to be honest and scarier face is another of the best tiers of mutations really so we usually would go with that but strong spirit is just like the best out of them uh, still a, a mini weapons chest which is not what we wanted to see really I need I need to get real with you guys that's not what we wanted to look at so we're gonna go with long arms here I actually do like taking melee weapons so that's exactly what we were trying to do with the large weapons chest since there are two uh, Decent enough melee weapons that actually drop from 1-3 onwards, them being the, the sledgehammer and uh, the shovel. I actually wanted to have a large weapons chest that actually drops three weapons instead of one. I actually wanted to have it on 1-3, as to maximize our chances of getting a shovel. But, since there is an additional melee weapon, also that starts dropping from 2-1 onward that's where we're gonna open it we got a large weapons chest and we still didn't get anything that I actually wanted but we can go with a splinter gun I do like my my bolt weapons a bit too much actually probably a bit too much I'm I rely too much on them which is which can be an issue in this game because then when you finally have a run where you don't have what you actually wanted in the first place you might end up shooting yourself in the foot you know so you might end up shooting yourself in the foot and that's not too good we might have missed some rads along the way because by now we should have had like level four but i'm not gonna, gonna get too crazy about that i guess please blow up the car 
Um, that was the Gold Rim car, which is actually um, one of the secrets in the game. You can actually go to a secret area, dubbed YV's Mansion, and you can get golden weapons there. A golden weapon, really. Um, on the on the weapon chest, or actually, it's, it's like a weapons display that is there, and it drops you a golden weapon. A golden weapon, it's basically a weapon that you can start the game with. So, you can start the game instead of starting with the simple pistol or revolver, it's his name. Uh, it's its name. Um, we, we can actually start with a golden weapon that actually dropped for us. So, that's why we started with the shotgun, by the way, on horror. So, we're actually gonna go with boiling veins here, even though I do want the rabbit paw. Uh, we're gonna go with Boiling Veins here, because Boiling Veins is consistently good, to be honest. It's a consistently good mutation. That will actually take you places, or at least prevent your death, very often. In shitty situations that you couldn't really avoid. So, we actually managed... Oh! So right here. Okay. And that is a grenade launcher that we do not want. Okay. Let's proceed over to the top where we have our last enemy. So those crows, actually, uh, the sound effect, I really like them. It's one of my favorite sound effects in the game. The one for the crows. I think it's really neat. It can it can get a bit annoying if you have like a zillion of them on top of you, but it's, it's one of my favorite enemies within the game. In terms of sound, really. In terms of the sound effects used for that enemy. Holy crap. Like, seriously? And we have a sniper over there at the, at the end. I just spent a whole... A whole lot of experience trying to do that. And he still is not dead, like, come on. This was ridiculous. Because of one sniper, we actually almost died. It cost us so much radiation, like so much, because we missed plenty of radiation on the boss. <sighs> that was goddamn awful. Like seriously awful. And we just died right now. And we died right now. This was incredibly bad. From the fight to the big dog, on to this start, really, this was awful. So we're gonna retry, with horror still. Still with horror. Please keep in mind that I don't play too well with horror, but I wanted to get him out of the way, really. I know he's one of the good characters, he's considered to be one of the good characters. That, you, that, that people actually... People that actually know how to play really well, they do consistently well with him, which is which is cool. I think that's a cool that's a cool little concept. That that horror is so good, and I can understand why. He is able to get good builds plenty of time, really, because of the extra choice in mutations. You get to choose be in between five mutations instead of four which considerably ups your chances of getting those that you really wanted to get during the course of the run. So let's go with this. And once again, we are actually gonna go with long arms this time. Instead of the homing bolts. Last time we went with long arms, but we, we took the splinter gun hoping for some homing bolts. Okay. This is good. This is good. 
okay. We managed to dodge a bullet there. Well, several of them, but still. I don't want to be carrying around two of the same type of weapon. And since pop gun can actually be considered a spammy kind of weapon, I'm, I would probably end up taking the slugger. To be honest. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up taking the slugger. I don't know what we what what we got here, but we shall see, I guess. So here we have stress, open minds, sharp teeth, thrown butt, and eagle eyes, all of which are bad. I'm gonna go with stress, which is, in my opinion, the one that is the least awful, really. And I'm gonna go with grenade launcher. Okay. We just want to focus down the rats that can charge us pretty quickly. So when it when in doubt, you should definitely uh, there this is the secret, like, the, the manhole that actually contains a secret. You can go to a secret level there if you actually explode it with an explosive weapon. You definitely need an explosive weapon, though. You can't use any other kind of weapon. As long as you produce an explosion, you can actually get um, the whole level that you're standing on, the sewers, to die instantly. And you get the radiation from it, but the rest of the level was so far away. That we lost radiation from doing this. Still, we opened up the area to go to the pizza sewers. That actually improves the chance that we will actually find better weapons. As we progress. Which is good. So we're gonna pick Strong Spirit yet again. Just like last run. That didn't end too well. Which was unfortunate. I don't know why I didn't go around and pick up the laser pistol. I should have. I just forgot, I guess. So, we missed some radiation there as well. This is beginning to become awful. On the radiation front, we have been missing a lot of it. Okay. that douchebag and we have a grenade shotgun here we would only consider taking it because because we were using two bullet weapons and using two weapons of the same ammo type is usually not in your interest really to be honest because you even though you are gonna get guaranteed uh, ammo packs all that same weapon type uh, you might get too few and then you will become, you, you will find yourself out of ammo and trust me, that never ends well. Okay, we're just trying to build these dudes and we definitely need to get that because that's actually how you unlock horror. Uh, to unlock horror, you just need to... I didn't mean to open the portal. I didn't mean to open the portal there. Uh, to unlock horror, you just need to skip two radiation canisters in a row. Which is something that you usually do not want to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this. This is a very similar build to last time. Which is a problem. At least give me the fucking rads is what I wanted. But okay. We will go with... Hmm. So, Trigger Fingers is one of the best mutations in the game. Bloodlust as well. And Boiling Veins is also a, a nice runner-up. But we are gonna go with Trigger Fingers. It's a more offensive-minded mutation. 
your kills lower your reload time, which is pretty good on heavy weapons that you need to, to fire, but they are really slow at firing them, you know? Because quick weapons, this game is balanced in, in like that way. I mentioned this in the previous episode. This game is balanced in that way, in that particular regard. You actually uh, have some weapons which are really good, but are not as quick. Because if they were very quick, then pretty much they would be too powerful. So we just decided to stay away from that, which is a decent decision to be honest. Uh, we could pick up the slugger, but I'm actually gonna gonna continue on with this or not. I might actually go with bolt marrow on this because we might end up not getting a melee weapon. We have seen no melee weapons during our short stint with doing episodes of nuclear throne, I guess. So that's not good because melee weapons are my favorite weapons in nuclear throne. So, but but bolt weapons are actually like some of my favorite as well. So we will make do with this, I guess. Okay. And we can get some bolts here, some radiation here, and a laser pistol. Which could end up being great for us if we actually end up getting scarier face and laser brain. But we might not really. I'm actually gonna go like this. I do like the bouncers, I just don't have enough ammo on it right now to actually consider it making it my, my main weapon, like it was previously. So please, just die, please. Plenty of death and mayhem there. So we actually want that splinter gun. So two splinter guns, which is actually nice. And we got clipped at the end by a single freaking bullet. Like, come on! Stop that shit. So we have our radiation here. And we could go ahead and grab bullets from it. Plasma gun, I don't like it that much. Splinter gun. I would prefer a splinter pistol, but this will do, I guess. Another slugger. So we are getting low quality weapons, which is surprising. We are getting lower tier trash, to be honest. being a bit unlucky, but we shall carry on regardless. Mm -hmm. I see you there, Wolfie. You almost hit me, though. I want that medkit. I, I wanted that medkit. Don't get baited by items, like Chubby Emu says. You should never get baited by items. But I allowed myself to become baited by items, and... Look where it got me. I don't want a crown now. I don't want any crown now. So we're actually moving into danger land, I think. And we still don't have anything that I would want. Still. So right now, a boss is gonna spawn, like I told you. On the third... On the third um, area of every level and we have almost no cover since we had almost no no experience because yeah pretty much because we had just leveled up we couldn't use the beam on him which is like ridiculous 
We couldn't kill him because we had just leveled up. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. But that's the truth right there. So a quick third run that we got going on right here. And let's see where this one takes us. So the horror runs have been pretty awful. Especially because we keep on picking fucking long arms and we do not get any melee weapon. Oh goody! A fucking wrench. Thank you game. I swear to god this sometimes this game trolls me so hard. I'm very salty right now as you could probably tell. No, I want my radiation. So, let's go with this one. We just need we just need to have some more fun. Please, Joe, up the up the up the fun factor. Come on. Up, come on. I can usually have fun with this game even when it it sort of bugs me out, but still, this time it's like the game is trying to make me become mad at it. Like like really really trying. Another shotgun. We're not gonna go for the spawning super chests route. Well, if I could skip one, I probably will. So I'm gonna go with trigger fingers right now because it's one of the best mutations to go along with long arms. Especially if we were to get a shovel. Which I'm thinking is gonna be a rare or not at all occurrence. An unexistent occurrence, to be honest. At least have an explosive weapon on it. If you don't have a melee weapon, at least have an explosive weapon. Exactly. Please. So, everything died and we get plenty of rads, but we do not want to take a toxic launcher with us, of course, so let's switch out for our crossbow yet again, and we will yet again come to the, the pizza sewers and see if we can actually get something out of this, but that might not be the case. We could go with laser brain. I would prefer to go with scarier face first. But this is too good to pass up. Where are the turtles at? The turtles can be really dangerous if you if you mistakenly think that they are really like cuddly and fluffy and you allow them to touch you. <laughs> it's not gonna end well for you, but it's not gonna end well for you. So, this series, uh, I didn't focus on that last time too much, but it's it's gonna start out with a some focus on teaching new players how to play the game, even though most people who actually watch uh, Clear Throne videos are not new players. I think there is, like, not enough focus on providing some some tips while playing right now on the nuclear throne like let's play scene really to be honest uh, I love all the other let's players I actually do I like their content a lot but I intend to focus a little bit on the on like some advice to actually progress in the game because I too was actually pretty bad at it and I seem to be pretty bad at it still Judging from the performance from my first two episodes, I guess. <laughs> well, let's not jinx it right now. We could have a, a good run going right now, but we won't if I keep making mistakes like that. But we might, now that we have one of the best weapons in the game that drops this early. So, it's so good that it drops this early, the, the auto crossbow. But now we need homing bolts. We desperately, desperately need and want homing bolts. Will it happen? We are not sure. We cannot be sure. I would want to take Gamma Guts, but 
we do need boiling veins right now, so let's go with that. I was actually pretty reckless there with that assassin. He could have, he could have nabbed me. Uh, I want to open this, but to be honest, I think that if I can get a super chest on the next floor, that's actually gonna be more beneficial for me. I shouldn't keep the wrench, but I'm gonna try to clever play it if we don't get an awful spawn, and we might be able to get away with it. So let's just try to cheese it a little bit. I don't really like to use this all all that often really because these are some pre some pretty cheesy tactics you know but sometimes one's gotta do a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do you know so we actually it, it actually worked and if we don't mess it up right now we are actually going to get a weapon from here. So, Bouncer, SMG, Nuke Launcher, Grenade Launcher. We cannot continue on with a wrench. So, that's, that's a no-go, really. So, we are going to go with the Bouncer SMG. Which can provide something for us. The Nuke Launcher would not be awful if I knew how to use it well. I don't really use the Nuke Launcher that well. Mike, can you please die? Thank you. Okay. This is the level. For one cleared. And we should definitely go with strong spirit right now. But the fact of the matter is that I do want bolt marrow. So we're gonna risk it. We are gonna risk it. You should never do this. But we are gonna risk it. Please get some some semblance of of a medkit. Just some heal, just any heal, please. Okay, so we are back at three health, which is not that great. We do need health regen because I haven't played this in a couple of days. And you can probably tell. Please just blow up and give me some health. No health still. Which is unfortunate, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So the next, the next zone is 5-2. And we desperately need to get something better on 5-2. In, in terms of either mutations or straight up health to be honest we need it we de desperately need it right now and we still didn't get it which is absurd so we have something here that could give us health but you usually don't want to use it anyway you usually do not want to use it anyway so we're actually gonna go with hammerhead I think we are gonna go with hammerhead here I'm pretty sure, yeah. Just, just please, this game.
Okay, the ice is about to fuck us over though. Could we get some more health please? I would really, really appreciate that. A super bazooka would be so good. I'm actually gonna go with it, because we do have boiling veins. And it can actually one-shot, I think, little hunter. I'm not sure that it can one-shot. I am sure, however, that it deals a massive amount of damage. So we just need a good spawn. Just we need to clear these guys. Okay. Okay. We need to have him spawn over here. Okay, he's dead. Okay, and we just got hit by the last guy. Of course, of course we did. So, cannot get hit by this, this motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Some more bolts and some more health, but we are still back at what we had before. Okay, some explosives and some bolts. We just wanted to spend some explosives. There, a lightning shotgun, which doesn't do us that well, really. And right now we are on the labs, which is a tricky place for us to be, really, because of the... So this guy is still reviving. That dude is still reviving like these guys. Okay, so we do have only 25 bolts, which is bad. Nuke launcher. shells there which might end up being being good for us I guess so we desperately need some health regen we desperately need it so we're gonna go rabbit ball second stomach could be good as well Like, come on, please. Oh, it's like, seriously. Okay. Okay, so we don't want this much explosive so let's go with this and this not we don't want it we just don't need it <sighs> we still have no melee weapon by the way if you guys can tell
flamethrower and a double shotgun. Really. So we have max bolts now at least. But no level 9. So let's keep going on. We're going to the throne. And this is the throne fight. Please pray for a melee weapon. Heavy machine gun, of course. So... Even though it might backfire on us, I would really prefer going with the Super Bazooka, I think. It at least has the stomping power to actually kill anything. So, yeah, that's what we'll go with, I guess. That's what we'll go with, because it at least has the stomping power to actually plow through some of, some of this. For example, the boss. This boss, if I do not mess this up because we don't have strong spirit, it actually does have the stomping power to to plow through this. Just not. Okay. These explosives. These explosives. Okay. We are sort of okay. Even though it did touch us. Uh, so. Scarier face is probably the best decision here. Probably the best decision here. Gamma Guts is also good, but without Scarier Face, Gamma Guts is kind of useless. So we'll go with Scarier Face, I think. Please do not plow into me, please. Okay. Super Bazooka deals so much damage. It's so good sometimes. But it can also be pretty dangerous. Like this. I actually exploded them on top of me. So... We are loop boys. We are starting from the beginning. And everything is harder to actually achieve right now. So these are two of the of the most difficult enemies within the game. And we got two of them at the same time. got two of the most difficult enemies in the game at the same time. Well, at least in this loop, they are. And some people actually think that the other loops as you go, go forward, really, because this has no ending, really. Ending is your skill, really. The skill you have will dictate how far you get, so... Uh, people say that actually loop 3 and onwards might be slightly easier depending on the build that you have. So we are actually going to go with Anomaly because it will allow us to end levels faster or more quickly really. Just sooner is what I mean. So, like this, it actually allowed us to go with a faster level clear. And the only weapon that it actually offered us in terms of melee is actually 
a wrench. This is ridiculous to say the least, but that's what we'll. That's not what we're gonna go with, of course, because we can't go with with a wrench. Really, we just can't. We could go with a hyper rifle, though. A hyper rifle could you usually help us clear faster. But the the problem is that I don't like. The hyper rifle in terms of like straight up clearing power on like the shielders and stuff those guys actually die much faster with the super bazooka also a van does as well so we're actually gonna go and pick a crown which we probably wouldn't want but that might end up being like a smart choice I don't know really why not so some people say that crown of luck on horror is actually really like really good but we don't have bloodlust so I don't think that we can make do with crown of luck to be honest I really don't I think that with crown of luck we might just kill ourselves really easily because we start with one HP so we're probably gonna go with crown of death that would be really good but we still don't have strong spirit let's try to go crown of blood what have we got to lose this run is probably gonna end anyway since we don't have a melee weapon and we don't have bloodlust anyway Well, we do have a jackhammer. Oh! We do have a melee weapon now. Okay, we took damage there. But that was okay. That was okay. Okay, so... We could go with energy hammer. I would very much prefer an energy sword. We don't have near enough... <laughs> anywhere near enough um, regeneration for me to be comfortable with energy hammer as my primary, like... We could go with jackhammer. The jackhammer might fail us as well. Jackhammer is usually okay enough for or this sort of thing, really, for loop one. But we do have Crown of Blood. Let's see. Let's see where this leads us, I guess. This is probably the worst... Um, Of course. This spawn was horrible for someone that didn't have strong spirit and couldn't really, like, know what was down there and peek and risk peeking, really, just the risk of peeking was too great. I should have just spammed energy hammer, uh, but I was afraid of running out of ammo and just being stuck in the middle of nowhere with no melee. So, it's, it's at about... Not really, but close to a thousand kills on this run. That's not too good, but it's not awful as well. So please, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more episodes in the Nuclear Throne series, uh, if you actually have some tips, some advice for, for me, uh, like get good scrub <laughs> or something to, to that point, really, just leave a comment down below, leave a like on the episode, share it with some friends that you know like Nuclear Throne, and above everything else, if you're new to this, if you're new to the channel, this is a series that is going to start receiving more and more episodes. 
uh, and more frequent updates. So please subscribe to the channel and check out the series that we that we have available. I will see you on the next next episode. And uh, up until then, I love your faces and peace.